Let's see if you notice anything. I'll get mine spinning. You ready? Cool! Well, greetings and welcome back to Faraday Studios. We're glad to have you. We're glad to have these folks back, aren't we? Mm-hmm. This is a very, very basic uh, science activity. A, con a concept that's difficult to get across. It's very simple, but kind of difficult to grasp. How many different sciences can you name? You know, the state. Chemistry is one, because I've done chemistry. I'll say chemistry. Physiology, anatomy, anatomy. chemistry, biology, biology, microbiology. But you left out what they call the mother science. All sciences are really physics at different levels. Like the physics of atoms and molecules we call chemistry. Chemistry, yeah. And the, and the physics of living things. Can be biology. Yeah, biology. And you can go on down to the whole list. And I know people argue about that, that concept, but I'm a believer in it. And in order to do this, do you recognize what I've got on the table? Money. You got some coins, right? What are these things right here? Nuts. Nuts, yeah. These are called uh, machine nuts. Balloons. Balloons. And I, I picked this color out because these, when you blow them up, they're not completely transparent, but you can see through them. <laughs> but you can do it with, uh, you know, colored balloons, but the lighter, the better. Because you like to see what's going on inside, because we're going to put something inside. Let's pick out a coin. Let's try a penny. So what's this got to do with anything? Physics? Are you kidding me? Have you ever ridden on a ride at an amusement park that throws you back against the wall or throws you up against something? Yes. Well, we're gonna make one of those. So we're gonna, we're gonna put a coin inside a balloon, you're gonna blow it up, and I want you to blow it up so it's a, it can comfortably hold it in your hand. Doesn't matter how big you blow it up. I stopped about there, because I, that, that I can hold on to. We are gonna get that penny up on its edge, going around inside that Balloon. Do you see that penny going around in there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, on the edge, right? See if you can do that first. And do it as softly and easily as you can. Now you see that penny going around on edge, on its edge mm -hmm. like that? Mine's so light, yours works a lot better. Yeah, mine works like because I got a little more mass, then, huh? Well, you just figured that out, huh? Heavier coin might be a little easier to handle. It takes a little practice to do this, to get that coin up on the edge and to keep it going. But you know, I'm trying to get it to go flat like this parallel to the floor, like that. See how I've got that plane? It's going, it's traveling in a plane, like it's traveling on a flat level. That's another word you can introduce with this, is the plane. And I have to keep adding energy to this system. I have to keep taking my fingers and making, and wobbling it just right. If I get it going fast enough, I can rotate the balloon, and you'll see that the penny stays in the same plane. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Because it has a force, a force, centrifugal force and you can actually feel the resistance. Now the question I'm gonna to put to you is, do you think that would change if I put a heavier coin in there? It would be harder to spin it because, and it would probably last longer because of there's more mass. So what's that, that that's going on in your head right now? It's called science. And then there's the one I like to do, I call it aggravating the teacher. Let's put a uh, hex, nut, hex nut in there. One or two. Oh, I don't care. We'll see. You gonna go for it? I don't know if you can get two going or not. We'll see. <laughs> Let's see if you notice anything. I'll get mine spinning. You ready? Cool! It makes a noise because of the edge is, so they're rubbing against that at different times, and so it's making a noise. It's making a noise. It's sending out some vibration, right? <laughs> you want this in your classroom, right? You would like to have 30 kids going. <laughs> There's no correct answer for this other than feeling some a centrifugal force, just feeling it. You can say that I can feel that penny trying to bust through here. And the question I have for you to think about, I'm not gonna tell you the answer, is if you did have a penny, right? Okay. Because eventually these balloons, these balloons are going to break. Yeah. Eventually the penny is going to wear its way through. And that, just imagine again, if I'm spinning this thing, the penny's going like this, but when that balloon breaks, which, we don't know which direction, but is it going to, is it going to go in a straight line or is it going to kind of curve a little bit? What do you think? It'll probably curve a little bit. Think it curve a little bit? It will go off in a straight line. 
because it's trying to go off in a straight line at every point on the way around. From this penny's point of view, it's not really traveling in a circle. It's traveling, trying to travel in a straight line. It's kind of cool. Well, I think that's it. Uh, all you need to do this activity are some balloons, uh, some coins and washers of different sizes, and maybe some other little objects if they want to test things, if they can, what kind of noise they can generate, or just allowing them to experience uh, one of the basic concepts in phys physics is pretty cool. So, good luck with it. Say goodbye, would you? Bye. Bye. See you. Thank you.